Um, What's your finest memory? My finest memory is probably getting that series over with so I can <laughs> breathe again. <laughs> really. No, I think the finest memory is winning that World Series, remembering how uh, everybody had good years, everybody gelled, the chemistry was awesome. Kind of reminds me of the Jim Lynn team and this team this year where the chemistry was really I don't think you can win without good chemistry. You, you can't have envy and things on a ball club. And that's what we had. It was fun. And that's not something you can, I mean, you see teams nowadays trying to build through free agency and stuff. How important is it to have a good farm system like the Tigers have just to, to build guys up and have them be around each other for six, seven years before they hit the big time? I think that's important. I think it's good to have good ownership. Uh, who treats the players decently. It's good to have a good manager, good coaches, and uh, I think a manager is really key. A guy that lets you play, that lets you, lets you know that he's the boss, and makes you hustle. And I don't know, I th and I think you got to get lucky to get the right chemistry. You can have one or two bad apples. It's one thing about Jim Leland, a bad apple is going to stick around long. I think he went to management and said, it's, it's going to be my way or the highway. He got rid of the bad apples. What do you think of Osman so far? I like him so far. I was concerned a month or so ago when they went through that big slump. You know, you know, is he going to panic? You know, our guy's going to get upset with him, blah, blah, blah. And he handled it very, very wisely. Handled the pitching staff well. And I think he's going to be great. He's going to be around a long time. A lot of people remember your position switch in the World Series. What's, what's one memory you have or one big moment from your career that doesn't get remembered the same way. Oh gosh, oh, I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> you kind of caught me off guard with no. that one. <laughs> you know, I made a couple of real good catches, one in Chicago that uh, I think is on YouTube that I thought was one of the better catches ever. I felt like that didn't get remembered. Um, no, I don't really know. I, that's a hard question for me. How much did it mean to spend your entire career in Detroit? I loved it. I loved playing in Detroit. Never got booed, and I had a lifetime batting average of 248, so they had a lot of opportunities to boo me. But uh, I was just, I was fortunate to play with a bunch of good hitters. They could afford to carry my glove. And I was a decent base runner, so the only place I hurt us was with a bat from time to time. And in, in crucial situations, I got a few big hits, so, you know, it come through once in a while. But lucky to play on a good ball club. How often do you see some of your teammates from that group? Well, I just saw a bunch of them a couple weeks ago. We had our Tiger alumni uh, golf outing. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them are live out of state, and a few have passed away, and a couple of them are not very healthy right now, which is real concerning. But we don't see each other that often. I see Mickey Wolich in Florida more than I do when he's in Michigan <laughs> on vacation down in Florida. But um, I see Kayline three, four times a year at different events, but not that often. How often do you bust out the World Series ring? How often do you have it out? I have my World Series ring on 24-7. I never take it off. When I play golf, I wear it, I never take it off. So that's that. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're retired, what do you like to do on your spare time? Um, I like working outside. I like heavy equipment, so I've had backhoes and dozers, and I, I have, all I have now is a tractor. I help my son with his landscape business, um, play golf, and I like to eat. <laughs> I like to eat, <laughs> eat and sleep, and do projects for the grandkids. I like working with my hands with wood and tools, so it seems like a week doesn't go by with somebody has a project for me to do. Yeah. How many grandkids do you have? Ten grandkids. Yep. Wow. One's going to be with me tonight signing autographs. He's so excited. He thinks I'm pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> He's young enough not to know yet. <laughs> right. Can we see your ring? Yeah. Yes, you may. If you had to sit there and one thing for these young kids right now playing baseball, in, in this league right here, what, what what advice would you give to them, or even the littler kids, you know, in the, playing high school baseball? Uh, I guess the main thing is to hustle, care about your teammates, 
uh, respect your coaches and go to college. <laughs> I did not, and I hate to think where I'd be right now if I hadn't gone to college. But I think I think respecting your coaches, especially at the younger kids, sometimes I don't think they realize how much a father or whoever it is doing the coaching or assistant coaches. I don't think they get enough respect. And, uh, we don't tell their parents to zip it at the ball games too. <laughs> but no, nah, and, and these young players today, you know, I'm not that close to it. I watch the Tigers games all the time. I guess just hustle. And, and speaking of hustle, it kind of surprises me. I'm really impressed with the way the modern day players still hustle. They have, money wise, they have no incentive. You know, but the superstars, all of them, they still hustle. They play as hard as we ever did, and we had, you know, we we didn't know if we we're going to get a paycheck the next year or a raise. A two thousand dollar raise was big for us. Prince Fielder, his first four games with the Tigers, made what I made in eighteen years. Wow. His first four games in Tiger Stadium. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, do you think with the money that they make now, do you think they're under more stress? I think they're used to it now. I would think they'd be under, you know, like Scherzer turned down 144 million. I'd feel pretty stressed if I held out for more and didn't do a good job. But uh, I don't know if they feel the stress or not. I certainly would. You would think they would, but it doesn't show. I don't see anybody with huge slumps. You know, they, take the money and I don't know what they do with all the money. I don't know. What can you do with that much money? You can't put it in the bank. It's not sure. But it'd be a nice problem to have. Right. But I think they hustle. I'm proud of them. They're not hurting the game. I wish they'd speed the game up. That's the only problem I've got with all the pitching changes. I know when we, when we played, um, Mickey Lolich had 29 complete games in one season. You know, Max Scherzer's got one in his career. You know, Verlander might have 12, 14, no more than that. Bob Gibson won 252 ball games. He had 255 complete games. So he completed games that he lost. So, I mean, the game has really changed. The point I'm making, it's really slow with all the, with all the, uh, the way that everything's specialized. It kind of bugs me. Well, the pitchers pitch a lot more back then, more a lot more pitches than they do now. Correct. Yeah, Lolich probably averaged 100, I'd say 120 to 130 pitches a game probably. And he'd throw 150 if he had to. And he pitched for 20 years. Gibson pitched for It's not like, I don't know, if they're saving these starters' arms to pitch to their 70, I doubt it. You know, they're, they're, they're not going to run out of gas. And by the time they're 40, I can't believe they're still going to want to pitch with all the dough they have. I don't know what they're saving for. And quite honestly, if I was a starter, Mickey Lowell's theory was the reason they're in the bullpen is because they're not as good as the starters. He says, so why do I want one of the men messing with my win? You know, he, you know, he didn't want to, he didn't want him to take him up, be taken out. Danny McLean hated to get taken out of a ball game. He wouldn't allow Mark Smith to take him out without a fight. So that's that's the only part that bothers me about baseball. It's, it's so slow. I wish they banned those hitting gloves with the straps on them. I'm tired of watching that. But, <laughs> but they can play. I think they're better athletes than we are. They're stronger. The pitchers throw harder. I'm not real sure, but fundamentally, if they're any better. Um, I think we stress fundamentals maybe a little bit more back then, but they're good athletes. And I'm proud of the way they hustle. Thank you. Yeah, I know it's not going to look like me. Tell me, have you been to West Michigan before? I mean, you're from here. I mean, have you been to Fifth Third in a while? I haven't been to Fifth Third for two or three years. I came a couple times and threw out the first pitch for the Catholic Charities. They have an event here every year.